Good morning, learners. This is Miss Griffith here. I have a reading lesson for you today. This reading lesson is going to be using the Sunday program that I've been using for a majority of my reading videos. I am going to go ahead and get started. If you remember, the first portion of any Sunday lesson is to read sounds. I have the sounds card here. In the classroom setting, I would show the sound cards to the students and have them either read the sound one at a time so I can hear them individually make that sound, or I would have the whole group do it together so I could do it at a quicker pace. For the purpose of this video, I am going to hold up the sound card and then I'm also going to be the one making the sound. W, a, u, a, a, k, i, i, l, e, i, z, y, g, a, V, J, K, S, R, Sh, B, F, A, O, E, D, N, K, S, T. Now that we have made our way through the sound cards and read sounds, we are going to spell sounds. So again, if I were in the classroom setting with the students, I would dictate a sound and the students would be responsible for writing the letter or letters that make that sound. For today, I am going to go ahead and make the sound myself and then write it on my board for you. Yeah. I, B, G, there we go. Once your learner at home, if you are choosing to do this at home, once your learner writes the sounds that you would dictate, you could have them repeat the sounds just to make sure that they know what sounds they're writing and the practice is there for them. Y, A, Sh, I, B, G. Alrighty, so we read sounds and we spelled sounds. Now there are a few questions that are offered with the Sunday program. Every lesson, um, it's not something I necessarily do, but some questions I wanted to ask this time around to review some concepts that we've done previously. The first question that I'm going to ask you and then your learner at home can respond if they'd like. How do you spell the long E sound in the middle of a word? If I wanted to say E T, how would I spell that? I would hope that the learner at home is answering with a double E. 
the long E sound in the middle of a word would be created by a double E, E, E. Now, another question. How do you spell the k sound after a short vowel? If you wanted to say the word or write the word sick, how would you do that? What is that last sound and how is that represented? I hope that the learner at home would say CK. After a short vowel sound, the CK makes a k sound. One more question for you. How would you spell the l sound after a short vowel? If I wanted to say or spell ball, how would I end that word? I hope that the learner at home would say with a double L. After a short vowel sound, you do double some consonants and L is one of the consonants that you would double. Those are just some quick questions that were included with the Sunday lesson and I wanted to make sure to include them in my video so that we can practice things that we have learned previously. Now, we are going to go ahead and read words. So, I was just talking about how with some consonants at the end of the word following a short vowel, you double them. I wanted to read those words today. It says, review with F, F, S, S, Z, Z, and L. Dash, egg, will, miss, hull, hay, jet, tax, weep, rib, nip, big. Now that we have read some of the words, now is the time that we would begin spelling words. So again, if I were in a classroom setting, I would be the one dictating these words to the learner. Because I focused on the FSZL words for reading, I'm also going to focus on them for this portion of the lesson. Less. Buzz. Tell. And one more for you, puff. The spelling words that we just worked on work with the strategy or skill that we've done previously, which is doubling certain consonants after they come after a short vowel and they come at the end of the word. So double S after a short E when it's at the end of the word. Double Z after a short U when it's at the end of the word double L after a short E when it's at the end of the word, and double F after a short U when it's at the end of the word. I am going to go ahead and stop here for today's lesson. We did get to uh, read sounds, spell sounds. We got to go over uh, some questions and answers for things we've done previously, and then we got to read words and to spell words. Bye, everyone.